Jen, in that hearing, the key issue today was how and how much Marvin McClendon should pay his defense attorneys. McClendon joined virtually. He is being held without bail on murder charges. Now, his attorney filed an indigence motion saying McClendon's monthly income is too low for him to pay an attorney. But he does have a property in Alabama, and the judge said that could be used to help pay for counsel and that the court could even force McClendon to sell that property to do so. The former Massachusetts corrections officer is accused of stabbing 11 year old Melissa Ann Tremblay to death back in 1988. Her body was found at a rail yard in Lawrence, Massachusetts. Now, thanks to new technology, the state crime lab was able to create a DNA profile from Tremblay's body, which led to McClendon, who was already a person of interest in this case. What the issue comes down to is what amount um, that I encumber from the property that he owns to contribute to the payment of the defense um, because a, a, uh, it seems to me that that's appropriate here. McClendon's next hearing is set for March 31st. That's when the judge will decide how McClendon should pay for his defense and potentially set a trial date. Jen.